how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Today is a good day for moi because I have a new kit to try. My name is Gemma. I like to try lots of arty, crafty new things, uh, new skills. It's fun. Have you ever tried willow weaving before? I haven't. I got this from a lovely Etsy shop called Wonky Willow Crafts. I will leave it linked down below just in case you're interested in making one yourself. They have lots of different kits for different projects but this one is a bird feeder. It's like a round one that you stick on your window and you can put fat balls in the back of it. Don't know why I keep doing this claw motion. Anyway, I've never tried it as I say. I don't know how it's going to go um, but yeah this is the box. It's quite big because it's got a load of willow in it. <laughs> okay, so this is the box. It says on it, make your own window bird feeder. This pack contains dry willow and items needed to make yourself a window bird feeder that holds fat balls. Additional items needed are a pair of cutters and water. The willow will need preparing before making can begin. Please read the instructions. Be careful not to damage the bag inside as it will be needed to hold the water. Enjoy your crafting. Let's have a look inside. So we have some lovely instructions. And let's see. We have our lovely willow. <laughs> Honestly, this gets me excited. It makes it sound funny, but it does. Look at it. Oh, it's fun and it's oh, bendy. So bendy. <laughs> okay, so we've got two lots of willow. And then we also have our board, which, oh, is it meant to be stuck down? It's kind of stuck, stuck on the bottom of the box. I won't try and rip that off um just in case it's meant to meant to stay there for now i'll have a look at the instructions um there's a little thank you card from wonky willow crafts then we have our polythene bag so that's the thing that we're going to wet our well um like soak soak is a better word <laughs> soak our willow in we have a tag tie which i think is gonna seal up this bag and then we also have some string to hang it from and our little sucky sucky window sucker. Now, we do need to, I believe, soak these first. So I'm gonna go and get those in a big bag of water. <laughs> so I just unraveled the bag and um, I just I hadn't realized it was gonna be so long. And of course it completely makes sense that it's this long, but oh! I've never had such a long bag. I'm just enjoying it just for its baggy, baggy longness. Okay, the willow is in a bag of water and the instructions said, just in case it leaks, keep it outside but it is super windy um, here at the moment so I'm really cautious of leaving it completely outside so we've put it in the greenhouse just on this little wooden what's it um, hopefully it will be okay and now we need to, need to leave it there for five to six days it says so we'll see you back here in a week so I took the willow out from its bag of water and it said in the instructions that we needed to mellow it so leave it for a day just resting taking in that beautiful dampness that it needs it said put it in a damp towel and leave it for a day so that's what we did that's what it's doing <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> that could be thick. That could be thick. <laughs> thick or thin? Thin. It's a nice one. <sighs> well, that was exciting for you to watch, wasn't it? Now, this actually says this, butt end first. <laughs> um, and I shouldn't find that funny, but here we are. So, 
Ooh. I imagine I'm just gonna poke myself in the eye at least five times during this. Ooh. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you can we see this? Is this is this fun YouTubing? <laughs> right. I don't know whether to like or how to hold it. So because <laughs> it's so wibbling. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful thing, you. Oh, that one's going all the way through. Oh, that... oh no, the door's come open. Hold on a minute. I don't know what to do because I can't put it down. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. No, I can. There we go. Lay it down. One moment, please. I am back. Um, the reason that the door just flung open like a loon um, was because... I have to, because it's really chilly in here, this is a great angle, isn't it? Um, and I've been trying to have a heater going just to kind of warm it up so that my hands can work <laughs> while I'm doing this. But I can't keep the heater going while I'm talking because, you know, it'll be like, ooh, in the background. I feel like that would be off-putting for you as viewers. Look at this. This is actually looking quite good. Ooh, that's fun. There we go. Uh, can you see the, the hole? I'm gonna put it through the hole. And then we have all of these butt ends out of the back, like this. So, a finger's length, about a finger's length underneath. Now, whose finger length is that based on? Because I have quite small hands. So, um, shall we go with the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to show the middle finger there. I kind of like, mm, let's go this way around. <laughs> um, so it probably needs to be a little bit lower down. Lower down. Come on. <laughs> this one's cheeky. Okay. Um, did that actually move in any way? Uh, well, shall we? Shall we say that that's a finger? It does. It does look like the picture. <laughs> what do we do now? Find best to work with the board between your knees. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now listen to this. Let's let's make sense of this. Now we are going to do what is a pair weave, where you weave both bits of willow over each other, and the weaver on the left is taken over the other weaver and into the next available space. Do this until the weaver gets close to the butt end or hard to weave as it's too thick. Okay, <laughs> that was that was my my thinking thinking face. So let's switch the camera about so you can see. Through there. And we go that way. This is gonna fall over immediately, isn't it? And then this one needs to go through this one. Can you see that this one on top goes over the top there? But then as we go around this side, this one will go over the top of this one. Right. Oh, that's the thing to do. Okay. So I kind of, if I hold all of them with this hand, but then the one that I'm going to go around, if I pull that out... So that it's nice and free and easy then this one can just go around it and you can push it down and then push out the next one ah ha 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 okay i'm getting it i'm getting it yes oh you absolute beauty I'm still going i've actually done a whole loop de loop now and it is getting a bit thicker does get a bit harder as it gets thicker to bend them around, but that's okay. There is definite weavage happening here. Okay. I'm trying to push it down onto the board just with my fingers and push up at the same time with my other fingers just because I realised 
but if you just push straight down, eventually you're pushing this board further down here and we need to have a certain length underneath so I don't want to lose that. So I did pull them back out again before we get too far but I'm conscious of that now. This one over and feed it under the willow in the last space. Feed it under the willow in the last space. Under the willow and feed it under the willow in that last space. What does that mean? Let's just put it under that one because that feels kind of a secure one to put it under. Should we just assume it's that? No, it's not bad for a first go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that just fits. But this one might not. One, two, three, four, five. Oh dear. I definitely needed bigger fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lesson here. So if you ever do one of these, make sure you leave a lot on the bottom because this is very tight. Mm, maybe I'll shove it under there. Oh no. Yeah, see these are, my sticks weren't long enough. Put you, put you under there. Hmm, I mean, it's not quite as pretty as it could be, but, you know, not bad. But anyway, I did it. It's my very first go ever, so, you know, I'm not sad about it. I think it's pretty all right. <laughs> Let's see whether I can find a fat ball to put inside. Hmm. I have stolen some fat balls from outside. I think they're a little bit nibbled already, but that actually might help because, yay, they fit. So let's put two in there. There we go. Little, little fat ball joy. Here's a sucker <laughs> and some string. Let's undo this. How do we get now? <laughs> How do we, oh, okay, right. I've got something through there and then Let's see if I can find a hole. Go on. Nice. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then I guess we just put the sucker on it like that. And then it hangs. Okay, I'll see if I can put it on uh, my window and show you what it looks like. Look! I'm not sad about this at all. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I've no idea how long that sucker's gonna hold uh, because we've had some real wind going on. And it's my first go at weaving willow, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Eee! There it is, it's all done. I mean, it's not perfectly circular, it's a little bit off. Uh, it was hard to keep the things straight, but for our first go, I think it's all right. <laughs> so let me know, have you ever tried willow weaving? 
would you try it? Has this put you off or spurred you on? <laughs> um, as I say, I'll leave all the details of Wonky Willow Crafts down below if you want to get a kit and try it out yourself. It was uh, roughly about £25 once all of the uh, postage and shipping was included. But yeah. Oh, oh, it actually smells nice as well. Oh, mm. keep making to make happy and I'll see you next time.